Hello people, welcome to DP Animation and today we are going to be doing a product review promo. Alright, so let's see what we are going to do, what I'm talking about actually. Alright, the first program comes, rotates, brings another one, then it's info, comes beside it, just like this. Okay. Okay. So let's not waste time. Let's pull up after effects and do something. So to start, let's create a new composition. Mm, HD size 1920 by 1080. Let's name it main. Main. Okay. All right. Let's create a second composition uh, with a width of 900 and a height of 900, perfect box, and name it um, uh, picture. Um, okay, let me make it phase one, phase one, phase one, okay, all right. So in our phase one, what we are going to do is we are going to bring in a new solid layer. So let's insert in a new solid layer, okay. So now let's import some pictures into our phase one, okay? So let's right click in, import, file, let me see, desktop, uh, Ubuntu. All right, so I have these images here. Let me just import these images, these images. All right. So we have the solid layer in phase one. So what we are going to do is we will drag one image underneath the solid layer, okay? Then we'll come to the track mat here, then make it an alpha mat, okay? So we have alpha mat the image onto the white plane. So let's scale it a bit so that we create a, a stroke around it, okay? So when you see here, the stroke around it is transparent, okay? There's nothing there. So we create another solid layer, white solid layer, then place that one under the image, okay? So in this case, the image is in the middle, okay? The image is in the middle, alpha Martin, the solid layer on top, okay? Okay. So now, let's duplicate the face six times, since cube has six faces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, okay? All right. So phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five, phase six. Let's open the faces. We are going to just switch the images. So hold the Alt key, then drag it onto it to change it. If it's too small, you just scale it up. Phase, phase five, hold the Alt, Alt key, then drag the next image onto it. If it's too big, you scale it down, okay? Um, phase four, like always, let's just rush through this quickly. Okay. So now we are done with replacing the image, okay? Now let's go back to our main. This is where the fun is, all right? So now let's drop, let's drop phase one onto our design, our main composition, then make it 3D by clicking on the 3D draft there, all right? So the phase one is the first phase, okay, the front phase. Hit P for position. Uh, the measurement of the box is 900 by 900. We will divide it into two, okay, for the position. So 450, okay, 450, 450 each, all right? So on Z, let's type something like minus, 450, then you enter. It will push the front one before you, okay? It will push it forward a bit. All right, let's change the view to custom view one so that you see what I'm talking well, all right? So the next thing is to bring phase two, okay? So let's bring phase two to make it 3D. All right, hit position, then type on Z, position Z, type 450, 
positive. It will push it also backwards. All right? Okay. Now, the next thing to do is to bring phase three. Okay? Phase three. Now we are going to face it to the right side, the right position. Okay? So let's make it 3D. All right? Then hit P for position. Then shift R for rotation. Okay? You hold the shift, then R for rotation. All right? So now they're on rotation. It's why we rotate on Y, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. And on position, we go X. Okay? So the 90, uh, 960 here, the 960, you add 450 to the 960, which will be something like um, 14, 10. Okay? 14, 10. Okay? You see that it has moved it to the right side and fit it perfectly to the corner there. All right? So the next one will be left side. Okay? So let's duplicate this one, the phase three. Or you can just bring in the fourth phase, make it 3D, hit rotation shift P. Okay? Then rotate on Y, 90 degrees. Okay? Then position. So this one, we are going left. So what we do is we will subtract 450 from 960. Okay? So 450 from 960, we will have something like um, 510. Okay? You see that? Perfectly. We are creating the box. All right? Okay. So the next one will be the top and the bottom. Okay? Okay? So now the bottom, let's see, let's bring phase five. Phase five, let's make it 3D. Then hit rotation, then shift P. Okay? So now the bottom, we rotate on X. X, 90 degrees on X. Okay? Then position. Okay? Now position, we are going to move on Y. Okay? So we have here 540. Then we add 450 to 8. Okay? So we have something like 990. Okay? You see that? It has gone to the bottom. All right? So the next one, let's bring the six face. Make it 3D. Then hit P, position. Then shift R to bring the rotation. So rotate on X, 90 degrees on X. Again, then position. So we will subtract 450 from 540, okay, for the top. So we have something like um, 90 or so. 90. You see that? So we have our perfect box here. All right? It's as simple as that. Okay. So now let's do the animation. Let's switch from custom view one to active camera, okay? So now, let's bring in a null object, null object, and let's name it control, control, all right? So let's make the control 3D. Then select all the faces here, then map it to the control, okay? So in this case, wherever the control goes, they follow. They act as child to the control, all right? So watch this. Rotation. You see that it's rotating? Okay. Let me reset it. Zero. All right? Now, let's go to effects and apply an effect called separate XYZ. Separate XYZ position to control. Okay? So we have this. All right? Okay. So now let's move our image backwards a bit. So we have this, the image being moved backwards a bit. I think this is okay. All right? Let me move it to the corner here a bit so that it won't be in the middle. Okay. So this, this position is okay. All right? This position is okay. Let's hit R for rotation. Okay? Let's hit Shift E to bring out the effect control. So let me set a key on Z position. Okay, then move the timeline backwards, 
then go a negative value for the box to disappear. So we have something like this. It comes in slowly, okay? It will come in slowly, like this. It's too slow, so let me move it closer. So it will come in slowly like this. You can just select the two key points, then make it easy ease, okay? Go to the graph editor, mm, then make it smooth a bit, okay? Keep it in, okay? So now let's see what we have. It comes in like this, slowly, okay? Good, all right. So when it comes in like this, I want to see it being rotated slowly, okay? So I'll set a key here, then move the timeline to something like 14 seconds, then roll it gradually, gradually, okay? To this, let me see if this point is okay. Mm, I think this point is okay, all right? So it will come in gradually, then be moving slowly. Then the next flip to just rotate to bring in the next the next image. Okay. So I'll go the next image 90 degrees so that the next image will come in. Okay. So it will it will be like this. To come in and be rolling slowly, then to flip to bring the next image. The space is too wide, so let me close it in a bit and see. Okay, just like that. You move the timeline again. Okay. So when it reveals the next face, it shouldn't be what? Stagnant or stable there. It should be moving slowly again still. So it should be going like this slowly. Okay. Then the next one, it will flip again. 180, 180 degrees. Okay, so you have this. It comes in, then we go in slowly, then flip to bring the next one slowly, then flip, just like that, okay? All right, so the next one will also be going slowly. Slowly like that, then it will flip, okay? Then it will also flip, okay? That's 270, let me go 270, okay? Just like that, all right. So what we are going to do next is, we are going to create a transition on the face of what, the image. So that when it comes, the transition will reveal the image, okay? But before that, let's create a background for this, okay? Let's new, solid. Let's create a background. Yeah, okay, let me use the ramp, the gradient ramp to create a background, okay? So let me apply it and bring it down, okay? So let me swap the colors. Uh, let me make it radar, okay, and the top there, let me make it something like a, a green color. Mm, the bottom, I think it's okay like this. So we have something like this, it's okay. So something like this is okay. Let me lighten the green a bit. All right. So something like this is okay. So let me, let me see, let me bring a new solid layer. I'm just creating the background for now. Let me make it black, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create something like a shadow there, okay? So I'll cut it at the bottom here, all right? Then hit double M to bring the marks attributes underneath it. Then feather the edge. Okay, so you have something like this. So something like this is okay. We shouldn't do it too much, so it's okay like this. All right. So now, 
phase one. We are going to apply an effect called VC reflect, VC reflection, okay? So VC reflect. Let's just apply it onto phase one, okay? Then the reflection distance, let's keep it something like, um, I think this is okay. 20 is okay. Then the opacity, let's go something like 15. Let me see 15 too. Okay, 15 is okay. So let me copy it, the VC reflect effect. Then select, let me paste it on phase three too. The next phase, phase four. Let me paste it on phase four. Let me paste it on phase two too. Okay. Okay. So now we have our reflection on it. Remember, the reflection I use is, I use is VC reflect, okay? Okay, so we have this, simple, all right? Okay. So now what we are going to do next is the test, all right? Let's go to our project window. Let me create a new composition, the same 900 by 900. Let me name it test one, test one, okay? Let me type something. Vegetables, vegetables, okay, okay, so I have this, I have this, you can just duplicate it, duplicate it and type, mm, and type anything, a good, just type anything, all right, so we have this here, underneath it, okay, so this is our test. So the next thing to do is just animate the test coming in, all right? Okay, so let's hit P for position. Select the two P for position, then set, click on the stopwatch to set the key, all right? Move the timeline backwards, okay? Then you select your two tests, then move it to the right side to set the key automatically. Then you have something like this, okay? If the coming in is too fast, you can select the two keys, then easy ease them, all right? Now select the first one, then go to the graph editor, okay? Then select the key that you curve it in. Select the next one too, go to graph editor, select the point, the last point, then curve it in, okay? So you have something like this, okay? too fast, open it up. Right. Let's play it and see, okay? Okay, this is okay. So the first one will come first. Let me place this one underneath. It will come first, then the next one will follow. So you have something like this. Okay, all right. So just like that. So let's come to our main then phase one. So this is our phase one. The phase one is the vegetable, okay? So what you do next is we will duplicate it, the phase one, then hold the Alt key, then drop, click and drag the test one onto the duplicated one, okay? Then the next thing to do is to click on the pan behind two or the anchor point two, then move the assholes to the left side, to the last end of the frame, okay? Move it to the last end, then move it, move the entire test one to the right side, okay? After that, all you have to do is move the test layer, animation, you drag the timeline to the middle somewhere here, okay? Then maybe you rotate it a little, Rotate it on Y a little, okay, so that it won't be flat, okay? So you have something like this, okay? Okay, so now the next thing we are going to do is create that transition. So Control D, just duplicate the face, then come to Effect, then apply Fill on it, type Fill, then apply it on it, change the color to something like, um, okay, green will do. So that it will match the background. Okay, let me go darker a bit. Okay, green, all right? 
So when you apply the effect, delete the VC reflecting on that transition layer. Okay. All right. So now there is one this one effect that I like to use a lot, which is the CC. I think it's CC card. Grid CC grid wipe. Okay, I love to use it a lot. Okay, okay. So with this, when the box comes in, let me hit E to bring out the effect underneath it. Then set a key. Then I move it the timeline forward a bit. Then crank it to hundred. Okay. So let's start the animation from something like this place. Okay, so that it will reveal it. When it reveals it, the lesson will come, the info will come beside it. Okay, it's as simple as that. So this one comes, the info comes, just like that. So when it rotates, this is where you have to pay notice of. So you hit T for the opacity. When it rotates, you have to make the test disappear. All right? So you click opacity, then you click, then you make it zero. Okay, so, so when it comes in, then the test will come beside it, then it will rotate to bring the next one. All right? Just like that. Okay. So let's not waste time. Let's do the next one. Okay. Let's do the next one too. So what I'm going to do is the face where the transition is, I'm going to change its layer color to something like purple, okay, so that I can differentiate between them, all right? So now the next one, that's phase three, it's phase three, okay? So when it follows like that, let me just copy the if, let me just duplicate it, then copy, the effect from fill from this one, the first one, the first transition, let me copy the two effects, copy, then come and paste it on the th third one. Okay, let me change its color to purple. Okay, so now let me bring the effects, a grid wipe. Okay, so its one will start from somewhere like this. So uh, I want the animations to start from, the wiping to start from here. So it will be like this. Okay, all right. So let's, you just have to repeat the same sequence. Okay, so let's not waste time. You come to maybe the next rotation. I think it's phase two. Okay, phase two. So you just have to duplicate it then paste the effect, okay? Then you, open, you click on the cascading arrow beside it, or you just hit E for the effect, then go inside the grid, okay? So you just time it, then move the animation key points backwards a bit, okay? So you have something like this, all right? Okay, so as simple as that. All right. So the last one, let me see the two, let me change the color of the two to, to pebble. Okay. So now the last one, which is the end. Um, which of the, that's phase four. Okay, phase four. So let me duplicate phase four, then paste the effects. Okay. With the transitions, you have to delete the VC reflex from it. Okay, so I have to de delete the reflect VC reflection from it. All right. So now let me work on. Let me type E to bring out the CC grid wipe. Now let me reposition the transition key points a bit. Let's see, we have something like this. Okay. All right. So let me change this one's layer color to purple. So now we have this, let me delete the VC reflect here. 
VC reflect and delete this one too. Okay, so now we have this. Now the next thing to do is just the test, continue changing the test. So let me come to our main project window, then duplicate these tests, okay? So the next info is, what is it? Soccer, well, uh, football. So let me just double click and change the test to something like um, football, okay? Football, then duplicate this one too. Mm, let me just duplicate it for a couple of times. Let me see. So the next rotation is tomato. So let me change the name of this one to tomato. Tomato. All right. So the next, the next one, which is the fourth one, I can just clear it. Mm, let me just type something like anything at all, keep. Let me just type keep there. Okay, let me scale it up so that I'll use it to end it, okay? So this will end it, all right. So now let me come to my main. Okay, so the next phase, which is the phase two, uh, phase three. Okay, so I'll duplicate this one, then hold the Alt key, then drag test two onto it. Okay. And just like always, let Let's move, click on the anchor point two, then move the axles, the X, Y, Z axis to the end of the frame. Okay, so from there, just rotate it, hit R to rotate it. Mm. To rotate it on 90 degrees. Okay, so you have comment let me see so let me go a uh, negative value or just rotate it a bit don't let it be straight okay so this one is okay all right so you have something like this okay so now all that you have to do is to position move the timeline backwards so that it will start at the point when the next rotation comes in. You see? So you come somewhere here. Okay. So it will come somewhere here. Okay. So whilst it's going, you hit the opacity. You set a key, then zero, so that it will disappear. Okay, all right. So the next one, the next face is the tomato, which is uh, the phase two. Phase two, so you just have to duplicate it, come to phase uh, test three, hold the alt key, then drag it onto it. All right, then like always, you select the anchor point two, then move the axles to the end of the frame or the layer, okay? Then you rotate it, hit R to rotate it. Okay, so you have something like this, all right? Now you move the timeline backwards so that it will start when the tomatoes come in. Okay. Okay. So here, to make it disappear, use the opacity tool. Then you go zero to let it disappear. 
okay so it's just like that so the last one the last one will be is it phase four yeah phase four okay so let's bring phase four put the odds then drag it onto the face okay so now this one we won't wor uh, worry ourselves too much okay so we just click on the anchor point to then move the timeline to the last end there okay then we just move it to this side okay so you have something like this all that you have to do is move the timeline to when it comes in So you have something like this. Oh, see, I forgot to animate this one. Okay, let me go back and animate it. So position, P, then move it to that side. All right, as simple as that. So, Okay, so it should be something like this. Okay. So people, now here is your product review promo. A simple box animation to do a product review. Okay. Simple as that. But when you please, when you are doing it, take your time and set it well. Because I'm doing a tutorial, I want, I want it to be fast. That's why I'm in a hurry to do this. And that's why I'm not paying that much attention to it. Okay. It's to it. That's why I'm not paying that much attention to it finishing. Okay. But please, when doing it, take your time. Then do it nicely. Okay. It's as simple as that. So we are done with it. Yo, you can still add some finishing touches to it. Something that I like to do more often. Let me see. I like to always to apply some kind of reflection on the surface of my work. So let me move this one upwards. Then use the ellipse tool to cut one end of it. Okay. Then double click, then rotate. Then move it to the corner there. Then hit the opacity T for the opacity. Then uh, the percentage, something like 15. So uh, it will looks like there's a reflection on the surface of the work. You see, something that I like to do more often. Okay. All right. So this comes to the end of our first tutorial. There will be a second part whereby I will use a video to create a video montage using a clip to create a video montage, okay? So see you next time.